Hello drivers! Today it is a, a special day because uh, it's been just a month uh, since we began uh, the class beta for the S30 gearbox. So uh, where we are, uh, we are we have already uh, quite a bunch of people that build uh, their gearbox. Uh, some are already mounted on rigs, and we have the first. Uh, feedbacks so it's been uh, really quick I think uh, it shows that uh, the project was uh, well made was uh, uh, easy enough uh, to build uh, I also think that uh, it shows that people uh, really want really wanted to have uh, a good H pattern gearbox uh, so they, they have been uh, extremely quick uh, to order all the parts uh, to print all the parts and I think it is the reason why we already have uh, many gearboxes that are uh, ready to use. During uh, this month uh, a lot of work has been done there is a lot of 3D parts that have been updated uh, I just put online uh, the, the new version uh, for the, the firmware for the Arduino uh, that introduces uh, a new mode, uh, the button plate mode that I'm going to, to show you just after that and uh, yeah it's been uh, really awesome that uh, there is a lot of new things, a lot of improvements and the good thing is that uh, we re really worked together uh, to improve everything uh, I've been working uh, for now about two weeks only on the Arduino code and during that time uh, a lot of people uh, worked uh, to improve the thinning, uh, mostly the, the edge pattern uh, guide uh, to, to easy uh, the, the change of gears uh, and it's been really efficient because uh, I just uh, shared new 3D uh, parts, people printed them and then they gave me feedbacks about what was good or not and uh, people were uh, comparing uh, the solutions and it really helped uh, to go fast and efficient and uh, yeah it really improves uh, everything. Uh, on the other side uh, the fact that we, are, we aren't so many people uh, I mostly know uh, 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 people, I know what what they are able to do, I know uh, which printer they have and uh, so I can address any issue efficiently. By example, uh, a guy uh, from the USA had problems to print uh, crank, it is uh, quite an, an important part of the gearbox and so uh, I sent him a new file with a solution to, um, to print this part uh, e uh, easier and uh, he printed, uh, he, vali he validated uh, the, the solution and uh, we, we went even further uh, to, to improve this part together uh, to see if the, the solution was uh, working uh, at uh, his side and uh, my side and yeah it really helps uh, the project to go far further. So I've been talking uh, about uh, the new Arduino code it, it mostly introduces uh, the, the support for the button plate mode so um, it is a mode that allows you to, to have as you can see buttons around the level and the great thing about it is that you can um, customize the, the plate you just load uh, the custom plate you load um, the, the buttons you want you place them uh, then you can also add uh, decoration so you can add text uh, small parts this way you can really have something completely unique on top of that, once you have your custom plate, uh, you can assign uh, different functions to each buttons. Basically, you can just have some buttons. And you can also have the calibration function 
that I'm going to talk to you about now. So, what is the calibration mode? Uh, the thing is, uh, as you may uh, be aware of, uh, in old car, you often have the first gear um, at the rear. And as you can see, the problem is that if I engage the first gear, um, it doesn't match uh, the, the pattern of the car in the car. The first gear is uh, the second gear here. So the thing is that with the calibration uh, function, you can reassign gears uh, immediately. You just press the button, uh, you uh, shift gears, one, two, three, four. So I want the first to be there, then second, then uh, third, and then fourth. And now if I don't want to assign a fifth and sixth gear, I just press the calibration button to exit. And now, as you can see, uh, it engages the fourth gear. The first is there, second, etc., etc. So it allows you to, uh, to reassign all the gears uh, whenever you want. And then, uh, when you are just driving another car with a common uh, six, six gears pattern, where, uh, you just press uh, the reset button uh, to, um, to set the gears uh, by default. So I press uh, the default button, and now the, the first gear is uh, where it is meant to be by default. So as you can see, it is quite a nice feature. Uh, if you want to to do to to go the easy way, you can just use uh, the button function. Each button will re, will act as a simple button, and you can just uh, don't use uh, the the button plate mode if you don't don't want it. So you may wonder uh, when we will uh, exit uh, the class beta. Uh, I think we will need. Uh, maybe just a month uh, for people to, to build uh, enough, enough gearboxes and uh, have it uh, mounted on the rigs and then I think there will be new problems uh, that will occur and I think we will need probably just one month to address every issue and, um, and prepare to, to exit uh, the class beta. So, thanks for watching, uh, consider subscribing to the channel, I will be uh, Saturday night on Racing Ether, uh, on race with this gearbox, it will be uh, the Ferrari 355, so see you soon on track.